Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Doc Skinner with 1028 Live here at day two of the Sholo International Film Festival in Pine Top Lakeside, Arizona at the WME Theater, where we have some amazing films that you've got to come check out. And uh, we have some amazing filmmakers here that you can actually meet, actors, writers, directors, producers, and you can literally talk with them. You can ask questions. You can learn. Um, <laughs> the Q&As at the end of each movie block is amazing because you get to actually talk with uh, the, the, the representatives and get those answers that you're looking for. And right now we have with us Taryn Huff with this, the movie um, The Last Doll Story. Doll or sorry, Doll Lost Lady. Doll Lady, my bad. <laughs> I got a bunch of st notes all over the place here. Um, and this is a full length film, right? No, no, it's a short film. It's, it's 21 short. minutes long. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. a short documentary. That's right. Yes. And, and it is an, an interesting storyline uh, or is. a concept. Uh, <clears throat> I knew that. Um, late here, you got. I know, there's you've got a visitor I know. that's like won't leave. I was Go like, away. Play it cool, Taryn. It's yeah. just part of it. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> acting. Um, so you tackled a subject that isn't really well known, mm -hmm. but I mean, I mean, some people know. <laughs> no, <laughs> doing kung fu off the interview um, about uh, telling stories with dolls. Yeah, so the film follows Selma Buckstein, who's 93, and she's been giving a free, uh, non-for-profit educational program for kids for over 60 years. So in the 1950s, a program was started by B'nai B'rith, which was a women's Jewish organization called Dolls for Democracy. And what's really fascinating is this was started before the Civil Rights Movement, and the entire point of the program was to teach school children why racism is wrong, and why you shouldn't judge someone if they look different than you, or maybe have a disability or something. So they would go in, and they would use these dolls. The women would purchase these dolls. Different humanitarians, everything from Abraham Lincoln to George Washington Carver. And they would go to these schools on their own time, and with the use of these dolls, they would teach kids why racism is wrong. Mm -hmm. And the program unfortunately disbanded in the late 80s, early 90s, but because the women purchased the dolls, they could still give the program to kids. Still so, volunteer, yeah. Yeah, so Selma Buckstein has been giving the program for over 60 years. Wow. And at the ripe old age of 93, she's one of the original doll ladies, and she's now the last doll lady. Wow. So the, the documentary's about the program, because a lot of people haven't heard of the Dolls for Democracy program, um, but it also follows Selma and her passion for the program, and just trying to pass it on to a new generation before her herself passes away yeah and, and, and there's also uh, ladies in the film that talk about how they want to continue this exactly exactly it's a really important part of our history and a lot of people don't know about it I mean they were freedom fighters before people knew what that was like I said before the civil rights movement <laughs> sorry I almost got him I know I'll get him next time uh, but no but before the civil rights movement these women were doing it and these were housewives that literally were like on their free time like yeah we need to end racism so we're going to start going to schools and they would go to white schools in the area and Selma has a story she tells about in Independence Missouri that she talked to the principal and was like there's got to be more schools here and he's like well there's there's a school over there, but you're not going to want to. You're not going to want to really go to that school because it was a black school. And someone's like, "No, I want to go. Like, let's go. Let's do this." Mm -hmm. And so these women were really ahead of their time. And it's just, it's a shame the program stopped getting funded. B'nai B'rith, the women's organization, just kind of kept changing names, and they felt like this wasn't needed, unfortunately, even though it still is. So we're hoping. To it's get a, it, well, it's it's a it's it's a lost art of teaching mm -hmm. about history. Um, not through a book, but through storytelling and through visual, uh, not media, <laughs> but, <laughs> but vis visual format. Well, and we have that, we talk about that in the documentary where so many people would come up to Selma and they would say, oh, kids don't want these dolls. You know, you need to create an app or a game and that's what kids are interested in. But it, again, in the documentary, we go to a school and Selma gives this presentation to a group of kids and we're talking about kids ranging in age from four to 14. So you have 14 year old boys mm -hmm. learning about dolls and history and you could hear a pin drop. The kids were so into it and at the end, you know, someone's like, well, come up if you want to see the dolls and they all just kind of rushed to the stage and you know, she's like, we got to be careful touching them. But the kids loved it because I think so many times kids are taught now with an app, quite frankly. Yeah, everything, well, everything with a phone. Yeah, basically. no one is there talking to them. And the fact that she's 93 and doing it, the kids were like, minds were blown. It was like, oh my God, she's 93 and she's doing this. And just very inspirational as a whole. Wow, wow. Well, it's, it's an awesome movie. And when's the time block? Okay, so we're screening today at 525. 
and then we're screening tomorrow at 1 p.m. Okay. And if anybody is in the Southern California area, the film is also airing on KCT right now. Oh. So if you're cool. in San Diego, LA, Orange County, Inland Empire, Santa Barbara, the High Desert, just uh, check the KCT website and you can look it up. I think it's just listed as Last All Lady, but you can find it. Fantastic. <laughs> well, check it out here at the Sholo International Film Festival this weekend here in Pine Top Lakeside, Arizona. Get your passes now. Taryn, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Welcome to the mountain. Me. And thank you for being part of the Show of the Film Festival. Thanks for having me. All right. <laughs> Until the next interview, I'll see you at the movies.